Our next assignment in Canva is going to be about shapes and some things that you can do with shapes. And uh, the, this little bit is not huge, but you just got something you got to show me. So I'm already in Canva. You'll need to get there and get logged in and get going. And I have already created a, a new uh, document, a new publication, and it's a flyer. You don't have to use flyer, like I've said before. You could use a different size. This just works well for demo, so that's what I'm going to use. I've changed the background to kind of a light green color. You can do whatever you want with the background. Over here on the left-hand side, I'm going to go to Elements. That's going to be our first start or first stop. And then there's a lot of categories here, and we'll get into some of those categories. But what I want to concentrate on today is Shapes. So I'm going to Elements, and then I'm going to go to Shapes. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this little link where it says See All, and I'll click that. And that shows me all the shapes that I can work with as I as I play around with this. Now, there's not a ton to this, but it's just one of those things we've got to make sure we know and you show me you can do it. If there's a shape that you want to use, just click it and that will put it onto your publication, onto your document. Um, now, moving and sizing, of course, is easy. Just use your, if you're on your Chromebook, use your finger or your stylus. Or if you have a mouse connected, that might be great. Uh, you can size them and make them a different size. You can move them around. Now, changing color. That's going to be pretty important because when shapes, usually when shapes get put on, they're just kind of a gray color and uh, you might want something better than that. So up here on the kind of the top left-hand side, there's a little box up there that says color. And I'm going to go ahead and click that. And now I've got some options here. All right. It has document colors. So if you're working with a document that has a lot of objects in it, it will kind of take samples and have those colors. Right now, all I have is, is that green background color and the gray. Uh, it's got some default colors here, but of course you also have your, um, you've got your color picker right here. So you can make it whatever color you feel like you want to do. Right, okay, let's get some kind of yellowish goldish there. Looks pretty good. All right, so that's kind of where we start. You can just put shapes on there and you can move them and size them and color them and uh, you're kind of good to go. Now let's look at another thing that you can work with a little bit. I'll pop on a heart. I'll change the color of that heart and I'm gonna move it like over here. All right, so another thing that you can do is in this, uh, you can work with some buttons that are up on the top right hand side when you have a shape selected. Um, there is a button over here that has a, a plus sign and it says duplicate. So if you have an, and this works with other objects as well, but if you have an object here that you want to duplicate, you can click that and then you can, you've got a duplicate copy, right? So you can have more than one of something if you want to. There is also up here um, a, a button for transparency. So if you click that, you could fade something out so it's quite not quite you know, it's faded out. It's not quite as visible. If I took that heart and laid it, oh, well, it's in front, but um, there. I'll show you with that star. Um, if I laid that heart overneath, over the star, you can see the star through the heart because uh, I lowered the opacity. So you have that option as well. I'm going to bring that opacity back up here a little bit. Um, now, we just kind of ran into something a moment ago there that I want to make sure that you know about. Uh, let's say that that I want to, uh, I don't know, it's like I'm making a, a logo or something, and I want to bring over this kind of shape right here, which I'm going to give, I'm rearranging some things real momentarily here. So I'm going to give that a color. And you notice how the document colors are building up as I've added that yellow and that red. It's looking at everything that's in the document and adding those colors. So I'm going to make that, uh, that shield kind of thing kind of an orangish color. And I'm going to go back over here to, I'll just click off of the color palette and that will close it. And I'm going to get the lightning bolt. And I'm going to size that lightning bolt down a little bit. And I'm going to put the lightning bolt kind of on that shield and make that a different color as well. Let's go with like a navy blue there. All right, just kind of playing around. Now, I want to show you this uh, just so that you know about it. Um, Let's say that that there you've got some shapes stacked up, and this is not going to. I'll show you a better example as I go here. But um, I've got some shapes stacked up here, and they're not in the right order. They're not stacked up in the right order. 
So if you do a, a, a right click on, um, on the shape that you're working with, and if you're on your Chromebook, I think you can take your stylus and press and hold or take your finger and press and hold. You'll get the right click menu. You might be able to tap with two fingers. There's ways to right click. But if I say send backward here, you'll notice that that, that um, lightning bolt that I had disappeared, right? And it didn't really disappear. It's just behind the shield thing that I've got here. All right. I just wanted you to know how to do that. If you do a right click and, and I'll do a send backward there and that will put the shield back behind the, the lightning bolt. So that's another little technique that you may want to know about. All right, here's the last thing I want to show you. Some of these, um, let's see if I can find a good example. I know that there are some down at the bottom. Here's one way down at the bottom. It, it just looks like a circle. But when you put it on, the last thing I want to show you on this segment, when you put it on, it's, it's got two colors involved on it. It's got two tones of gray. It's a circle that has, kind, of has, kind of has a border or a stroke around it. All right, so what you would want to do here, or if you want to, you can come up and you'll see on the color area, both colors are represented. So I would be able to come up here and say, well, okay, I want that outline color to be black, but over here I want this fill color to be, um, gosh, I don't know, let's go with like a gray. Not, no, green's not good. We'll go with a gold color there. So you'll, you will find some, and some even have three colors involved. And if you have chosen a shape that is a multicolored kind of thing, you'll notice more than one color box up there. So I want you to catch that. I want you to be aware of it. So what you have to do today is really something kind of like what you see here. Uh, I want a page or a layout that has at least five shapes on it that have been placed on there and you got them moved around, put them where you want to. Uh, it's got to have at least five shapes. Um, that's really kind of it, right? And so when you're all done with that, I'm just going to go up here. I'm going to use this option to save it right here, the download that's on the top right hand side. And uh, it's again, it's suggested a PDF. I'm going to switch it over to a PNG, just an image file is fine. So I'm going to download a PNG. I'll go ahead and hit download there. Preparing my design like always. Sometimes you get these little, I don't know if you would call them advertisements or what. They kind of pop up here about printing or whatever. Just close those if you get them. All right, so that's been downloaded. I could go back to Google Classroom and turn that in. That is the end of, uh, of this segment. And the next coming up, we're going to be looking at grids and frames.